so many men cope with this topic. They love coping with this topic. They love using excuses. In today's video, we're going to go over all of these excuses and we're going to crush them so you can understand exactly how you can start using your energy to start getting the relationship that you've always dreamed about. You can start getting more women, whatever that looks like for you, because so many men cope. So many men cope with this topic. They give me every excuse in the book. And I know it's an excuse because I was once in your shoes and I used the same excuses, right? Some of you guys are like, oh, I'm a monk mode. Oh, I, I'm only focused on my business. Oh, I'm only focusing on improving my life. Oh, some of you guys use your God as an excuse. And I think you should be ashamed of yourself, right? Because as you grow, as you mature, as you develop, you learn that you have time for everything. You have time to work on your health. You have time to work on your money. You have time to work on your relationships. You have time to work on your relationship with God. You have time for everything. And so when you're trying to step back and not focus on certain aspects, of course, it's the aspects that you're weak in, right? If you're not focusing on, if you're not focusing on that, but you're trying to use it, you're trying to cope and use an excuse of other aspects. It just doesn't make any sense, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the outline. Because a lot of you guys are spewing a bunch of nonsense and you don't know that you're spewing a bunch of nonsense. So let's first talk about this. Guys will say, if you're on semen retention solely for women, then you're 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 not doing it right. Like you're not supposed to be doing that. And that's false because let's get one thing straight. At the end of the path that we're on when it comes to semen retention, the end of the path, it's your ability to understand and form relationships understand and form relationships so let me break it down to you watch this see you were supposed to understand and form relationships as a youngin but what happened is as you started to grow and you started to reach that point there was two paths that opened up the first path was you going outside you socializing you going to events you being active in your school right you're you you going out into the neighborhood and playing with the other kids or whatever because what that's going to do is it's going to teach you how to be social. It's going to teach you how to understand relationships. This person doesn't like me. He treats me like an enemy. This person likes me. He treats me as a friend. This person's platonic. He switches sides. This girl likes me. This girl doesn't like me. This is what happens when, when you're, somebody's being bullied. This is what happens when people are, I was going to say meat writing. I guess that's the PG version where people are obsessed with people and their stuff, right? You, you start to view all this, right? Majority of men who are on the semen retention path you didn't get that training. You didn't go through that process. What happens is you went to the opposite direction where you went to school, you didn't socialize very much, and then you came home and you PMO'd, right? Video games, PMO, and then some of you guys were early drinkers or early smokers. So what happens when you're doing this over time, when you're PMOing, when you're just playing video games, when you're staying at home and not socializing, not talking to girls, what happens? You miss out on developmental on fundamental developmental social skills, social intelligence. So you don't know how to do these things. And as children, we don't care because we lack foresight. But as you start to get older, you're like, wait a minute, I'm actually kind of lonely. Wait a minute, I have no friends or at least friends that you're proud to say that they're friends or th the whole social aspect is just gone versus guys who went outside who understood relationships and understood social things they're getting more luck and they're not as capable as you are this is why a lot of street guys win like street guys hood guys uh bad boys is because they were outside they went through that training and so they they understand women at a level that you will never understand because they sp simply spent more time with them just like if you, if i got your favorite video game and i took somebody who only went outside you're going to be miles ahead of them when it comes to the video game why you spent more time more attention more energy more strategy, things of that nature. And so the thing is PMO or as soon as PMO, right? You went through that process. You didn't go through the, the social conditioning, you PMO. And then as you start to realize that this is a problem, what happens is we introduced you to the tool of semen retention, right? Semen retention is a tool. It's designed to get you to stop PMOing, stop wasting this precious energy and to start storing this energy. Now, guys like me, guys in the self-improvement industry, guys in the semen retention space, all these 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 teachers, leaders, whatever you guys want to call us peers. Right. What we do is we say, OK, use this energy to first focus on your life. Why do we say that? Because if I threw you into the dating pool right now and you don't know anything by and I'm not being mean by definition, you are a loser. 
you can't dress you don't know much of pop culture you don't know how to socialize you don't you're not socially intelligent right you don't know these things and so throwing you into the deep end is horrible you're gonna have a horrible time so what we do is we tell you listen focus on your life do your do, focus on your life be be the best version of yourself right because what's going to happen is you're going to focus on your health you're going to focus on your money you're going to focus on your job or your career and once you build that up to a fundamental level it doesn't even have to be you have to, you're the ceo of a fortune five you doesn't have to do that you just have consistent income coming in you're using that income to invest into yourself you're managing your money you're managing your health you now you look decent you're not fuck you're not sloppy right then what then we move on to forming relationships a lot of guys get stuck in this point semen retention is a tool to get you off of pmo the reason why we're getting you off of pmo is because we're taking this energy and we are now bringing it to where it was supposed to be semen retention the only job of semen retention is to bring you up to baseline baseline notice i say baseline because when you're when you're on pmo you're in a deficit because you're pouring energy into a digital screen, a digital girlfriend, a digital avatar, and that doesn't help you. But if you were to take that energy and form it into actual relationships, forming relationships, and notice how I'm saying forming relationships, right? Because every man has something different. Some guys want friends with benefits. Some guys want girlfriends. Some guys want wives. It doesn't matter what you want, right? It, it, as long as you are pouring time, attention, and energy into getting these things, and the average man who's on this journey, they're not doing that. They're, they're using this as a crutch to say, oh, I'm just improving my life. And it's like, bro, going out and talking to women would take you an hour a day, two hours a day. You can't fit that into your schedule. <sighs> Excuse me. And listen, now again, and it's just, it, it all depends on the excuses that you're using. So many of the guys that are on my channel or on my community posts that I put, I say, how are your, how many matches do you get on dating apps, Right. And I got a bunch of comments. Go read them. I got a bunch of comments on dating apps are a nightmare. Oh, I don't use dating apps. Dating apps never worked for me. Blah, blah, blah. All this other jazz, right? And then to all those people who made these things, my question is, when was the last time you've had professional pictures taken? I can I can guarantee, I know, I know the answer. I know the answer is zero. I know you've never had it done. The thing, the thing about dating, I think about semen retention attraction is you're realizing that you're not trying I'm getting so worked up. You guys almost made me forget about my cardio, man. Let me jump on my cardio. I'm getting so worked up. But the thing is, yeah, you're not trying. That's what you're learning. You're not trying. And semen retention was supposed to teach you that. When we say better your life, pour this energy into your life, it's teaching you how to try. Okay, now I have a routine. Now I have things that I care about. Now I have positive habits. Now I have a different mindset. Because you need that to take that into the dating world. A lot of guys don't grow up when it comes to dating, you guys think like this is still elementary school or middle school or uni for my foreigners, right? You guys think this is all, it's nothing like that, bro. You have to grow out of that. You understand? There's a level of professionalism that you have to take. You have to start trying. And we understand this. We understand this, right? Like if you play video games, you know that you, you, you have to work your way up to a part. You can't, you know that when you get to a port, you have to upgrade your weapons or upgrade your armor. You know that the difference between that you're not going to use some type of uh, firepower against a water type, right? You get these, you understand these connections, but when it, it's the same thing, but in the social world, you understand the same way that you're not going to, you're not going to go apply for a big boy job, something that's going to pay you up to 60,000 plus dollars a year. And you're not going to write your resume on a napkin and give it to the person right why because that's childish and you know that you're not going to get picked for that so the same thing happens for dating your dating app looks like a, a person who put on a, write the resume on a napkin but if you actually tried if you were like let me get my fashion together let me go ahead and get professional pictures taken let me clean up my grooming right if you tried you would get better results am i saying you're going to get every woman in the world no right but you're going to have a lot more options than you do now Again, if you go to my community tab, I asked how many how many uh, likes or matches do you get usually on a dating app? Majority of guys, it was less than 10. Majority, it was less than 10. And it's like, yeah, I can I can guarantee you if I took all of those guys and I we looked at their profiles, they would be losers. And this, this is exactly why like a lot of guys struggle with these things. And it's simply because you're not going out there and being uh, social. It's, ve it's very simple. You're not going out there and you're being social. And so now you go out there with so much inexperience that you get taken advantage of 
or you're 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 putting people on pedestals because you don't understand does that make sense a lot of guys say what do i say what do i say to women how do i approach women how do i go on dates how do i it's like yeah you have to start this process at the age that you are at now you were supposed to do it when you were 11 12 13 14 because if somebody started at 11 by the time they're 21 that's 10 years of experience you know what to say what not to say or you have a general idea but somebody who's 24 25 30 35 you understand you have a completely different ball game now now you have to start from scratch because you didn't pour that energy into it because you listen to all these other guys out here talking about oh don't focus on women it just doesn't make sense it doesn't make any sense and so whatever it is that you're after you just have to form it into your schedule like everything else you know that you have to take care of your health right so you do certain things every week to take care of your health you know that you have to take care of your money so you do things every week to take care of your money but when it comes to relationships everybody in the world is like oh that's just going to naturally come to me like no bro what are you talking about again that's that's childish the the truth of the matter is you just don't like being vulnerable you don't like being vulnerable. You don't like being rejected. Newsflash, nobody likes being vulnerable. Nobody likes being rejected. But it's something you're going to have to go through if you're going to improve this area in your life. So this guy said, semen retention attraction. Semen retention doesn't attract women, bro. It doesn't attract women. He's like, yes, yes, it makes you more focused. Yes, it makes you more disciplined. Yes, it makes you more consistent. But actually having girls come up to you, bro? No, no, no. And it's like, bro, like, listen to yourself, bro. You're telling me a girl doesn't like somebody who's consistent. A girl doesn't like somebody who's disciplined. A girl doesn't like somebody who's focused. Like, listen to yourself. And it's because most guys think that you're, oh, I'm on 20 days of semen retention. And all the girls are like, I smell semen retention. Oh, please, please, can I get with you? Please. Fuck it. Like, childish, bro. It's fucking childish. It don't even make sense. But if you're on here and you're you got that retention and you get in looks, you have an opportunity. Take advantage of the opportunity. You have to start getting these reps in. And the best way that you're going to do that is you're going to you're going to have to actually start approaching. You have to put numbers on the board, man. You have to start shooting shots and then getting better and getting better and getting coaching and getting training. Because that's the thing. I, there was always pivotal moments in my life where I like when I was younger, I'll put women on a pedestal. Right. And then I started hanging out with this guy. I call him sharks, right? I don't want to get too deep into that, but I hang out with this guy and I would watch how he would take woman from point A to point uh, B, like the end result. And I'm like, bro, you're saying that? Oh my God, you're, you're saying that? You're just going to invite her over? You're not going to take her on three dates? And he's looking at me like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about, bro? Just say this, do this, 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 and this. And I was like, okay. So I just did it like scared out of my mind you guys ever send it like a risky test or something i was scared out of my mind and it just worked and it changed everything for me i'm like oh pfft. why no wonder i got treated a certain way it's because i was like oh please heavenly goddess will you please <laughs> i wasn't i wasn't that down bad i wasn't that down bad but yeah but, but essentially that's what i'm saying it's like most guys are treating it more they're treating it like um more valuable than it actually is they're not treating it like an adult talking to another adult and a lot of women have trained you guys to treat them like goddesses and goddesses or gods and goddesses simply because they know you lack experience. But deep down, they're not giving you play, but they're giving other guys play. And it's simply because the other guys know the, the they know the game already. They're like, OK, I know how to be social. I know how to do these things. So listen, you have to the whole the whole takeaway from this video is simply you have to start incorporating it into your routine going out being social where should i meet women go outside how about how about we do that how about we go downtown and we start going to different stores and seeing different things women are everywhere okay and so whether that's an hour a day two hours a day three hours a day two hours every weekend it doesn't matter you just have to get on that consistent schedule and over time if you're shooting your shot and you follow the framework that i put in my other video if you if you follow the framework, then you're going to get, you're going to get everything you ask for. And semen retention is going to help you. But understand this, it starts off with PMO. If you're struggling with PMO, then it goes into semen retention. Okay. Boom. Now I have this energy. I worked on my life for a little bit. Boom. Now I go jump into dating. That's what it's all about. Understanding and forming relationships. And when you do that successfully, you're going to be balancing your health, your wealth, your relationships, whether that's platonic, whether that's intimate, uh, and then your purpose, 
talking to God and all that stuff. Okay. So please put down in the comments, if you have any hate comments or anything like that, put that down in the comments. I would love to screenshot it and then point you out so we can talk about it. Um, but if you made it this far, type in dating expert, dating expert. And if you like this video and you want me to make a part two to this, put part two. And with that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace out.